Since so there's been like a gazillion freaking free agent moves slash trades slash cuts. Uh, and this is mostly uh, New England Patriots pro channel. Uh, we're going to talk about some Patriots, y'all. All right, so... <laughs> that's why I put the Southern accent in there. I'm just stupid. So, anywho, um, the New England Patriots. This is interesting. So, obviously, if you're a Patriots fan, uh, you probably know, well, the biggest thing is, what are they going to do with Jimmy Garoppolo? Are they going to trade Jimmy Garoppolo to the Cleveland Browns? Because the Browns want to give out the 12th overall pick for Jimmy Garoppolo. Will the Patriots do this trade, you know? Especially since Tom Brady apparently wants to play for several more years, and blah, blah, blah. You know, he's about to be 40, and Brady has five Super Bowl rings, and so on and so forth. Now, apparently, the Patriots might be interested in acquiring one uh, Cook, Devon Cook, Devin Cooks, from the New Orleans Saints in return for a Malcolm Butler. I like Cooks, but seriously, to me, Malcolm Butler ain't worth it. But there's a big reason why the Patriots would like to do that move. And supposedly, according to uh, the Patriots' front office and the insiders of the Patriots, they're not done. Of shaking things up in New England, despite you know winning, of course, another Super Bowl, make the historic comeback. Which to me, you know, a lot of people, I mean, whether it was a choke job or it was a comeback, for me that was still an exciting game. All right, that was probably the best Super Bowl I've ever seen. So, uh, the Royal Patriots, they uh, made a big contract. In fact, they made a big contract that, other than Tom Brady, this son of a gun is now the highest paid player on the team. I could be wrong, but I believe he is looking at a $14 million a year contract. The New England Patriots have acquired Stephon Gilmore. That's right. Former Buffalo Bill cornerback Stephon Gilmore out of East Carolina. And, oh, excuse me, South Carolina, pardon me. So, hey, I could have said something that's ridiculous, like South Dakota or something stupid, but... This is a good move. Obviously, um, I should assume it's a five-year, $65 million contract. Wow, holy crap. So, here's the thing. It's obviously a good move for the Patriots. Uh, other than Butler, you look at their secondary. That was probably, I think i say a weak position for them because I still feel at times this Patriot team should have rushed, put pressure on the opposing quarterback a little better. But uh, I felt like their secondary was decent, you know. Obviously, you put, if Malcolm Butler got injured, yours truly would be jumping out of a window right now going, okay, Logan Wright's decent-ish. Uh, you know, McCourty is okay. Patrick Chung, after his first go around in New England, I wanted to shoot the guy in the face. Not really, but, you know, I was like, what the hell's your problem? But uh, second time around was meh. But obviously, this is a big addition for the New England Patriots. This guy is, old, is barely like little less than a month older than me. All right, he's only 26 years old. Uh, he, you know, you think that at the age of like 31 or so, when his contract's gonna expire, uh, his best years will probably most likely be done. You know, he'll he'll probably be still, hopefully, somewhat decent for a while, and then. Maybe go around the sunset and God knows what. But this is a good move by the New England Patriots. Uh, I know it was a big contract, but hey, this guy came off his best year last year with the Buffalo Bills. Uh, obviously, he was a pro bowler. Uh, he had his career high at best of five interceptions, uh, the most by a Bills since... Uh, I don't know if he's still on the team or not. I think he still is. Uh, New England Saints, great. Darius Bird, five interception season. Uh, which he had back in, I believe it was 2012, I believe. So uh, it's interesting, back-to-back -back year, the Patriots signed a Buffalo Bill. Of course, last year they went over and they got Chris Hogan, brother. And um, a lot of people were kind of crapping on that, like, oh, of course the Patriots get another little white wide receiver. You know, he's not going to do anything. Chris Hogan, like, he didn't do anything with the Buffalo Bills. You know, Chris Hogan's down the field, like, 35 yarders within, like, I don't know, 3.5 seconds wide open. And Tom Brady's like, oh, I have someone to throw the football to down the field? And then he just chucks it, and, you know, obviously Chris Hogan's gone, for the most part. So, uh, bringing, bringing, uh, I almost said Jerry Spur, what the hell? Bringing in Stephon Gilmore 
uh, from the Buffalo Bills. It's a good solid addition by the Patriots. I approve it. I think it's a good move. Uh, and, you know, some people might be going, oh, well, the Patriots, you know, they had about, I think it was something like 59 to $60 million under the cap. Uh, or should, yeah, under the cap. So they had plenty of cap space to obviously go out and sign someone. So this right here is a big signing, obviously. And they got plenty of money to, to uh, spend. So it should be interesting to see what else other moves they make. Uh, Laguerre and Blunt is done. They went over, of course, yesterday and uh, acquired, I still can't believe they acquired Dwayne Allen from the Indianapolis Colts uh, for basically a box of cookies. <laughs> I love when the New England Patriots get freaking these players for a box of cookies. It reminds me of when they acquired... <laughs> I remember when they acquired a uh, freaking Akib Talib from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and they can give up a like a couple of cookies, not a box of cookies, a couple of cookies for <laughs> Akib Talib, and that obviously benefited them, despite Akib Talib being uh, uh let's just say my opinions with Akib Talib aren't very nice right now, along with Darrell Rivas. LOL, he got cut by the Jets. Speaking of the Jets, I don't even want to go in their QB situation right now, but moving on. <laughs> Hey, Brock Oswald might be available real soon. But, anywho. Uh, so, yeah. So, the New England Patriots making some deals here. Uh, LeGarrette like Blunt looks like he's gone. Martellus Bennett already said goodbye. Uh, so, the Patriots are already shaking things up already. So, I don't want to sound like a broken record. But, to me, it shall be very entertaining to see what they're going to do. And not just with the Patriots, but other NFL teams as well. You guys remember, NFL free agency just kicked off. And everyone's getting traded. Everyone's getting cut. Everyone's getting signed. Yeah, it's just, I'm just waiting for someone to get arrested at this point. It's like, what else is happening? Come on now. I need more news here. <laughs> I'm obviously kidding when I say that. But, oh, you know, the NFL free agency, it has begun. And, uh... I'm very excited for it. You know, this is to me, other than obviously the start of the NFL season, probably the most exciting part of, I guess you want to say, part of the NFL in general, next to the draft. Because after the draft, everybody and their mother says, oh, this person got a C, or excuse me, this team got a C, this team got an A, this team got an F, because they didn't even draft anybody. So. Anywho, that's it for me, you guys. Uh, so, what do you guys think? For all you Patriot fans out there, how do you feel about Stefan Gilmore now being a member of the New England Patriots? Comment down below about that. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. Check out my Twitter. The link will be down in the description box. Of course, it's at no Chris Phoenix. And if you want to check out some free... Well, no, that's free. Virus-free as well. And fun, huge load of... Great content of gaming. Check out webpodsgames.com. Guess what? That link will also be linked down in the description box. Hope you guys see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. And guys, NFL season may not be here yet, but it's time to shake things up a bit. Peace.